everybody, JC here from Toy News International. And today I'm coming at you with another news video. And today specifically, I wanted to talk to you guys about Hasbro's HasLab crowdfunding project and the Jabba sail barge. So I talked about this before um, during Toy Fair when they initially announced this whole project and everything. So just to recap, in case you have missed it somehow, um, basically Hasbro is looking to offer folks as part of their vintage collection, their newly relaunched vintage collection, three and three quarter inch Star Wars line, a massive four foot long Jabba sail barge from Return of the Jedi. Now this thing, um, the exact dimensions are said to be about 49.35 inches long, 14.64 inches wide, um, the height of it is said to be about 17.01, and that's to the top of the sails, which are removable, and then will weigh about 13.89 pounds. And this will come in the vintage style of packaging like we see with all the vintage collection stuff. And it was just announced yesterday that the vehicle will also include, beyond, besides Jabba the Hutt, which, we, we, uh, which was announced at Toy Fair, um, it will also come with a special edition Yak Face figure. So the Yak Face figure is, is going, this version is going to come in special Star Wars Power of the Force packaging with a collector coin. And the collector coin is said to be an exact replica of the original one. Um, this is the original Power of the Force line that Kenner did with the coins and everything. Um, back during you know the time frame of Return of the Jedi, and so the Yak Face figure will come in this special packaging. Now, now Hasbro said during uh, today's event that the Yak Face figure itself will see a general release, the exact figure. The only difference is it'll just come in a regular vintage card back based on Return of the Jedi, and it won't have the coin. So the figure itself, if you don't get the barge, you'll still have access to, it just won't have the special packaging. And the figure will come packaged in the card back in the box that comes with the sail barge, basically. So for them to go forward with this whole project, they basically, they launched this new website called HasLab, which is their version of Kickstarter, basically. It is an actual Hasbro website, so it's not like they're holding this on Kickstarter and it's called HasLab. And basically they said they needed to get 5,000 people to back this thing in order to be able to move forward with it. And the cost is going to be $499.99 or basically 500 bucks. So it is a very expensive item. It is a very big item. And where we stand today is they have about 3,212 people that have backed this project. Again, they need to have 5,000 people and they need to have it by April 3rd. So basically they've got 12 days to go to reach the 5,000 mark. So I don't know, it looks like it's gonna be definitely close. But today they, they shared, you know, they had this press event and they shared some new images and stuff. We'd seen some painted images of the production sample and such. And today they released a few more behind the scenes images and such. But, but they also um, basically, you know, we got a chance to ask them some questions about all this and everything. So today I just want to go over the highlights of, of what they revealed, what I, what I thought was the most newsworthy of information new information that they gave us. So they went on record and confirmed that if they do not reach the 5,000 backers on HasLab for this, they will not move forward with it. So in other words, um, if, if, if they don't get the 5,000, then at least according to them on record today, they said, you know, this production sample would be the only barge made and, and we would not see it actually produced. So, like I said, we have to take their word for it, but, you know, even if they got, I guess, 4,999, 4, they still wouldn't move forward. They probably just have somebody go in there and buy one, but you, you get the point. Um, they are sticking to their guns and saying that if they don't get the 5,000, um, they're not going to move forward with this. Um, now, they also said that even if this did not get funded, if this particular project on HasLab did not get funded, 
they would still continue to do future projects with the whole crowdsourcing or crowdfunding thing on HasLab. It, you know, they're not going to shut down the HasLab site if this by chance does not go through. And they indicated that we could start seeing like one Star Wars item offered a year for this as well as other brands and we could see like multiple things offered so one star wars item and they mentioned marvel and transformers were two of the brands they were probably i think looking at most immediately but then also indicated that you know we could essentially see stuff from any of their brands including gi joe offered through this uh, haslab website so Basically, from the sound of it, it looks like, you know, one Star Wars item, maybe one Marvel item, and one Transformer item. So, you know, we might see a couple other things offered, uh, you know, later this year for, for Marvel and Transformers. Or maybe, you know, this year they're only going to do that. They didn't go into specifics, but but just made that indication. And But definitely, you know, if the sale barge doesn't happen, they still plan on continuing the whole HasLab thing with, with other products. They also indicated that not everything that's offered through HasLab has to be this big elaborate $500 giant vehicle type deal that we could see smaller stuff offered through HasLab. Maybe something that's less expensive, but still would be kind of difficult to get released through regular retail. So again, it's not necessarily just going to be items that break the bank and such. Now, they also confirmed today, went on record as to say that they would not be selling this to people in the United States and Canada through any other means other than HasLab. So if you don't get it, if you live here in the United States and Canada, and right now those are the only people who can participate in, in the HasLab, but... But they said if you live, you know, if you are within the United States or Canada and you want this sail barge, you've got to back it on HasLab. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get it unless you like resort to the secondary market or what have you. But they're not going to offer it to retailers, at least what they're saying today. They're not going to offer it to retailers after it gets funded so that you'll have another option to buy it. Now, they did say for the those of you in places like the UK who, again, you can't actually contribute and and back this project through HasLab, they did say that they were looking at ways and basically had plans, were putting plans in place to make it at least limited quantities available to those outside the United States and Canada. So in other words, they basically probably are going to offer it through some kind of third party um, to those who live in the UK and such, but not to those in the United States and, and Canada. Now, the reason why they said that, at least right now, they can't open HasLab up to people in the UK and such is because are not outfitted to be able to sell directly to people outside of the United States and Canada, which essentially just translates into legal issues, which they are trying to work out. They indicated they were trying to work that out. So for future products, they are hoping, you know, that they can open it up to people, you know, more people than just those in Canada and the United States. But currently, uh, with the way things stand, they just, I, I guess, legally cannot do that. Hasbro also confirmed that the Jabba the Hutt figure that is being released with this set is just a reissue of the one that came with the Rancor set a year or so ago. It is, It will be repainted, it will have a new paint deco, but it is the same figure that was previously released. And then besides that, they kind of gave us a walkthrough and talked about, you know, all the features and everything. There's two decks. There's the upper deck and then there's the lower deck. You start off on the lower deck with the cockpit, which will hold two pilots. And then there's a doorway. Essentially, you can have your figure kind of walk from the, from the front of the sail barge, which is the cockpit, all the way to the very back, which is Jabba's Lounge. There's essentially doorways and hatches and stuff that allow you to go um, to the very, you know, to each room um, of the sail barge. And then there's three access points that allow you with ladders and such that allow your figure to be able to climb from the lower deck to the upper deck. You start off with the cockpit and then you've got the jail cell. The jail cell will have a door that slides open. It's got uh, a hammerhead type character. It looks like, you know, he's, he's looks like he's almost a corpse or what have you, but essentially he's a prisoner in the jail cell. Now that, that's not going to be an actual articulated figure. 
They described it as it was sculpted in multiple parts, but it's essentially meant to just kind of sit there in the jail cell. You can remove it if you want to. You can take it out of the jail cell, but again, it's not an actual articulated figure. Um, it's really just kind of meant to sit there in the jail cell. And then you've got a trap door on the top there from the upper deck, so you can put your figure on it and it'll drop through, you know, to the jail cell, which is, which is, uh, as they say, a fun feature that they added for the for the vehicle. Then you've got the galley to prepare Jabba's meals, and this is really nicely detailed. You've got the, I think they're called Chibas or whatever from, from episode one that we saw on Tatooine. So you've got three of those hanging up on the wall, and you've got various other uh, details, a sto an actual stove and everything. So they really kind of went all out in the detail with that. Then you've got the armory, and you've got actual weapons in the armory. And then you have Jabba's Lounge, and that's where your Jabba figure can sit, and they'll have like a microphone for, for C-3PO, and you can stand other figures and stuff around. They kind of made that area open, and it's got like a wood-type deco so that you can display a lot of different figures and everything. And they said they purposely did not include pegs because they didn't want to limit or restrict where you could display figures. I, I think a few pegs would have been nice, but, but that was the reasoning they give for no actual pegs on, on the vehicle. And then the upper deck, the upper deck has the sails, which are actually removable. They're basically just kind of one piece deals that you can just lift off if you want. And you've got that main cannon and then you've got uh, three deck cannons or rail cannons that they call them. And they've made six different places where you can place those cannons. And so you can, you know, put them in various places on the barge up there on the top. And they also mentioned another cannon that came with an, another figure, which I can't remember off the top of my head, but I guess had like a, a clip or something. So they made it so that you could definitely use that as well. Okay, so that's it for the information. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Is this something you're thinking about, you know, putting the money down for? Or have you already done so? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. As always, you know, like the video if you're so inclined, and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. You can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch accounts. I have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.